So I will start with the offensive platform, the offensive way of applying the bare arms, simply because it's easier to understand uh, the objective. All right, it's really clear. And the easiest way to, uh, to think about it, to see, to view this kind of uh, bare arm uh, concept is that you will, if the other guy has his hands in front of him, either in a fighting stance or in a self-defense situation, he may be like this or, you know, just shouting. And from your stance, immediately you initiate your attack by lowering his arm using the bare arm. Oh. And now you can see that this path is clear. Okay. Again. And what I'm going to show you now is our step number one towards the direction of mastering the bare arms, which is lower the arm with one circle and then continue the circle to a strike with the same hand. Okay, so it's one, two. One, two. Okay, if I do it from the other side, most of the times you try to hook, to bare arm his lead arm, obviously, because it's the first thing that you will encounter as you come in, okay? So it will go like this. But sometimes, depending on the situation, you may uh, start with the other hand and you go on from there. Okay, so boom. Now, the movement is like this. Clear the arm and strike. There is an important part uh, that many people, when they hand chop, uh, neglect. And this is that you have to coordinate your body accordingly in order to have uh, the proper power generation. So if I do this movement and then throw, just throw the punch, uh, it will be an arm punch, so it won't have much power. Better than nothing, but again, I can do better than that. So the coordination will be like this. One, two. And when it comes the time to throw the pants, this is where I turn my hips and also drop my weight. Okay, so it's one, two. So it's one, two. And you can see that it's, this is really a part of the technique. Okay, if you want to do it uh, well, you must do it this way. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, so I don't turn totally when I lower the arm because where can I go from there? I, learn, I use my body weight and my this kind of circular movement and then comes the actual strike. All right? One, two. One, two. I always keep me up my other hand in front of my face, okay? So nothing bad will happen to me. Boom. So in, in a tactical kind of uh, situation or, or uh, application, this was just uh, the mechanics. It will be, I will be like this. And if I sense that the other guy is going to do something bad to me and I want to strike first, but still he has his hands in front of him, maybe threaten me, threatening me or whatever, I will immediately launch myself towards his arms and I will strike. Mind you, this, once you lower, you don't have to follow, this is very important, to follow his arm, his hand all the way down because this will consume a lot of time and it will also neutralize your advantage. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just lower, here is enough. Here is enough, the, the path is clear. Okay, so all you have to do is go here and then strike. One, two, 
one, two, okay? So, this is what you should do. 